Yo, it's the podcasts after show. Come and be my bro. On the interwebs, we shall flow. It's the podcasts after show. Welcome to the podcasts after show. Starring Angry Cat. That's me. So, let's get this shit on the road. Episode one, motherfucker. Today, we're gonna be the sugar. The show, in this show, the show is gonna be about surfing the web. Okay? And we're gonna look at some crazy shit. We're gonna look at some new movies coming out. We're gonna look at some bullshit. So, if you wanna lace... If you want to waste your life, waste your life with me, Angry Cat. This is the Podcats After Show. Alright, let's get the show on the road. Oh yeah. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. That's right. Event is coming soon. I'm going to show you the best shit on the interwebs. Here's the latest intel. Hillary's body double Teresa Barnwell being used on the campaign by Aaron Kessel. Hillary Clinton, just like Stalin, Castro and other political figures in history has a body double. Hillary's known body double is named Teresa Barnwell. That's not a secret, but is Hillary hiding the use of a body double to go to campaign events? They look exactly alike, almost like a clone of Hillary. But there are slight differences that can be analyzed to tell the difference between the two. For instance, their voices are different. Rumors started circulating after Hillary collapsed on September 11 that a memorial was rushed to her daughter's apartment, which is likely a private know. medical Does suite. Does that look like Hillary? Then made a staged public appearance hours oh, later, turn this hugging shit down. a girl while she claimed to be suffering pneumonia. Several pictures and tweets on the internet started emerging. Suggesting Hillary Clinton's so basically what we have here is have not been Hillary at my all. church in a daily mail some videos are well bullshit said. bogus whatever and the Hillary even some videos are right on the money the function she didn't want to attend Barnwell looks but identical this, to Hillary this Clinton. is a thumbs up is it right possible here. that Barnswell was used to show the media and public that Hillary Clinton is okay it's highly possible and very strange that Hillary Clinton met with a little girl after the media announced that her doctor said she had pneumonia. Pneumonia is highly contagious, so why would Hillary Clinton be out hugging <sighs> a little girl if she knew she had pneumonia, potentially infecting a little girl with her disease? Additionally, Barnwell herself fueled the fire and tweeted what? and deleted a tweet out front Chelsea Clinton. Alright, alright, I can tell you're not feeling this. Let's go to some other shit. We average one sexual thought every seven seconds. The late bloomer. Sexual energy can be diverted. You're a superstar. You know Tony Robbins. He suppresses people's natural desires. Strike up the band. You're kind. You're funny. You're pretty damn amazing. About Pete. He's not gay. Call you tomorrow. You're lucky that you date dudes. No, I'm not. I'm actually dead serious about that. If you ladies are ready, let's play a little basketball. Oh, really? <laughs> Quick shot to the nuts, smells of dingus melon. I'm not impressed. They're like little quail eggs. We found a brain tumor up against your pituitary gland. The pressure it's applied has watched a normal male development. Basically, you've never gone through puberty. Got the penis of Stephen Hawking at the moment. I don't want to split hairs, but Stephen Hawking could actually get an erection. Right, is ready. So how's puberty at 30 going on? Oh, he's got the Sunday Times rolled up in there. <laughs> we got one! When I watch a movie about you gotta help me. some I'm guy's dick. Moody and I think I'm going nuts. Your puberty is happening at an accelerated Possibly. speed. Possibly. Pardon the interruption, but do you drive a silver Prius? in session! My office! Now! We have 25 minutes. Hey, Pete. Wanna go over? Would you mind if I pop those on YouTube? I have to take a rain check. 
like people who put their lives aside in pursuit of their next orgasm. Orgasm. I don't know, you just seem different. Pete! You've been avoiding me. Come here. Uh oh. Just realized I'm late and I gotta go. You'll never get it! You can act out, baby. Mom, I need to remember. It's enough for that. They say that she killed a boy. They say that she killed a boy! Paris, as a designer. I reckon you came home for one of two things. Revenge or me. You can transform people. You can transform people! Gertrude Pratt. The dance is Saturday night. I could make you something. A dress can't change anything. Watch and learn, Gert. Watch and learn. I can make you the most striking girl in the room. Take your clothes off. Oh. A murderer and a lesbian. Who is that? Stunning. I'd like to order some day wear. Is that Dior? I remember that day. She saw the whole thing. I think Tilly understands my particular body shape. She certainly does. Go on, make them their dresses. Make them think they're classy. They'll still hate you. It's true. She murdered him. She's cursed. They'll never forgive me. Why didn't you tell me? You're wasted here. I think we should run away together. This is just a pack of lies! I'm back, you bastards. <laughs> Stop her, Charger. Is what? Sitting? You could be married in this suit. Snapped up by some eligible spinster or hag. Trousers off too? Yes. No. Boy, do I love me a chick flick, huh? Love me a chick flick. What's this? Stagecoach, the Texas Jack story. Then you're gonna have to take care of that shit. There's a man coming, and he aims to bury you. I know you, and I'll never forget you. The U.S. Marshal after us. Daniel Reed. Daniel Reed is dead. <sighs> Westerns. Who's the call you then? Texas Jack! Here's to Texas Jack. I don't know. He shot my eye out. The doctor said I was the luckiest guy he ever met. He shot my eye out. The past three years looking for you. I figured you're the luckiest <laughs> son of a bitch ever met. Um. Raise your arms in the air now! Boring. Bloody boring. This is some boring ass shiats. Boring. What's this crap? My blind brother? Can I call you sometime? I don't think that's a great idea. I'm so proud of my sons. Jocelyn thinks I should do a swim next, but I thought we could stop after the run. Well, kids don't stop being blind, but. I have just got to thank one individual who was next to me the whole time I'm running down that road. There's this voice telling you that you can do it. I, of course, am talking about God. I met a girl. She wants to help me train. She says she's desperate to help. Desperate? Wow, sexy. Who is she? Hello. Billy, you can say hello? We actually have met before. What? How do you guys know each other? Socially. You didn't tell me that your brother was blind. I'm pretty sure I did. I was blinding. Oh. Oh. Hi. He How's blinding? And then I said, oh, this I This movie's making me so blind. About you. And then he just looked really sad. So I kissed him. Because you didn't want him to look so sad? He's incredibly nice. Is she hot or <sighs> is she a pig? She's nice looking. You're doing great, Brad. What? I just said you're doing great. I know. You come 
Excuse me, do you mind trying to eat dinner over here? Rob, he's disabled. I'm disabled. Oh, my God. I you have no feelings for Bill whatsoever. Honestly, who cares? I can't trust my feelings. Boring, 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 boring. boring, 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 boring. This is not going to help anything. Please be good. Please be good. Hello. Uh, I just want to call and say I'm sorry. I has What is this bullshit? Can you open up with me. You actually have sex with these girls? Strictly basement business. Father will hate him on sight. He's cleverer than him, and he's black. She might change her mind. I've met the man I want to spend my life with. I've met the man I want to spend my life with. British. And he's British. And he has a daughter. And he's a king. I have a responsibility to return home to my people. And he has a responsibility to return home to his people. If I leave my heart here. I am the boring representative in Southern Africa. Serve you because I love my pet. Is free. Who is not my liar? <laughs> liar. This movie is good. Liar. You okay? This movie is good. Liar. I had another family. Here we go. I have to find my way back home. How long were you on the train? A couple of days. A couple of days. Take a lifetime to search all the stations in India. Oh, no! Shit. Do you have any idea what it's like? How every day my real brother screams my name. No! I always thought that I could keep this family together. I need you, Saru. What if you do find home and they're not even there? And you just keep searching. I don't have a choice. It's a feel good. Beautiful. It's a feel good. That's all you need to know. Mystical. Cue the Inya music. Much better in the trash. This was me, and then this was me. Then I came back as this. Fuck a you. A lot fuck you, dogs. Fuck off. Of fuck myself. you, dog. Another fucking cute dog movie. For me, it all fuck all you dogs. <laughs> His name was Ethan. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> Ethan. What a dumb name. Bailey. No. Come on, Bailey. Ethan. Bailey. Life got Ethan down. I knew exactly what to do. Ready? I'm ready. Go, Bailey. We played with that ball all afternoon. This Ethan is some boring him. ass Disney shit. This is some fucking he just a cracker oh, shit. You know? Sorry, that was the dog. This is like milk toast 2000. This is like if Mitt Romney won the presidency and like. Four years later, year this is the by, like every movie would every movie would be like this, look like end. this. Good boy, baby. Ethan, don't run away. Come back, it Ethan. It happened. I was back. I didn't have a. I'm a girl. Good girl. Good girl. I had a new purpose. I was needed again. The reincarnation of dogs. And again. Hi, you. With each new life, I was learning a new lesson. Hey, <laughs> Hmm, have we met before? Where did you find that? Okay, ready? Go! Oh shit. I tried to make sense out of all the things I'd seen. This might be good. This might be good. And how did Bacon fit in? Fuck! 
fuck you! Pulling me into your emotional reincarnation Buddhist dog movie. Ethan, why do you always have his dog with you? It's like a girlfriend replacement or something? <laughs> the dog's laughing at you. Dogs don't laugh. <laughs> That's funny. Nah. I heard a sound. Jack goes home. A wind. A strong wind. And a whisper in that wind. Jack. Jack. My dad. Jack. He died today. My, My dad. What? He lied to me. I'm already at peace with it. I'm already at peace with it. All right? Come out here. You're my best friend. And we better start packing. You're going home. Can I tell you something? What? Please do. I always thought this house was haunted. Mom? Mom? You think every house you live in is haunted? Come on, admit it. I'm so sorry, Mom. Well, that makes no sense. You're sorry, you had nothing to do with it. I was just being nice. Well, you don't need to be nice. None of this is nice. Your father really loved you. I am so sorry. None of this is nice. Oh, is in the attic. Ooh, Jack. Jack. You asleep. <laughs> when you're ready, Jack. You wouldn't like what you found up there. You go up into the attic. Find my underwear. Something really bad is happening. She wants to make me insane. I'm not. Jack, what's in the attic? I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you saying, Jack? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making you guys watch this. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're sorry. I get it. Should have left those stinky underwear alone. I'll teach you. Kidnap. Let's play a game! This movie's fucking predictable! He's gonna get lost at the zoo! Now she's gonna go on a rampage to get her child back! And she's gonna follow the clues! Frankie! Frankie! Come back, Frankie! Frankie, no! Have you seen Frankie? There's a suspicious man! Follow that man, he's suspicious man! Ah! Every mother's worst nightmare! They got my son! Help me! Chase that car. The police! Help me! They've got my son! My son's been kidnapped. If you wait with me here, ma'am, we'll file a report right now. That's what all these people did. They waited. I can't wait. This could be an epic car chase movie, but... Who knows? Let me tell you something. You can't outrun that little piece of crap. Really, you can't outrun that car. I will not stop. Wherever you go, I will be right behind you. So predictable. It's probably the baby's father. You took the wrong kid. <laughs> The Disappointments Room. Uh, 
I thought that was this room. Ready for your new house? This is a new beginning. New beginning. It's haunted too. <laughs> Come Hello? on. Based on true events, on one small event that happened, she moved into the house. Everything else is not based on a true event. You okay? Yeah. Just, this room's not on the floor plans. The Disappointments trailer, full of disappointments. So just a few things before you go. Legal just wants to make sure that I discuss this with you. Our main concern is uh, William Mittman. Billy? Yeah, Billy. It's the guy from the office Sorry. playing himself. So how's that for the drama competition? You're 26, but I think you're older. Not because you look older, you just seem older. What do you teach? I'm an English. I teach. I'm an English teacher. I, I teach English. Do you have a point? And I don't watch this trailer. Rachel? Wow. What are you doing? Don't be sad. I'm not! Don't be sad. I'm not. A middle-aged woman tries to get along with millennials and learns she's still young at heart. Do you? How do you stay outside with these kids? There we go. Rings. Oh shit. You're not real! Oh shit. They're not real. Please don't ruin the sequel. Please don't make a crappy sequel. Come on. There's a new videotape. If you watch it, you die. I keep thinking about this story. There's this video that kills you seven days after you watch it. Yes! I'm watching it. The second it's over, the phone rings. And this boy says... <laughs> Seven days. That's when she's coming for me. You want to know about the girl in the well? I thought this was already, what like, solved in the first movie. Hand. It says rebirth. That's awesome. 
It's like, everyone watch the video on the plane. You will not wait seven days. You will go down now. <laughs> Alright. That might have been the best trailer thus far. Shit. What else, what else? Fuck. Ooh. That's it. That's pretty much it. That's like, that's like an episode, right? Alright. I hope you enjoyed this podcast after show where we fuck around on the internet, look at some shit, upcoming shit, uh, leave your comments, whatever, comments below, whatever, whatever. So, like, subscribe, uh, yeah. All right, this has been the podcast after show, episode one. Hope you enjoyed it. I had fun making it. And it's time to eat. Eat some shit. Get off your ass. Eat some shit. And then sit down on your ass again. And eat some shit. This broadcast is a Pepto-Fem production.